everyone welcome back to my channel and if you're new here i just started this astrology series where i showcase nail tutorials while i talk about zodiacs and horoscopes and i just found this set to be perfect since taurus is ruled by venus and venus rules pink and jewels so i decided to do a full blinked out rhinestone set i honestly don't feel like getting into a long-winded video on this topic i'm honestly just going to mention some important dates for taurus and what you guys can expect the coming months and this year but i'm gonna get into that a little later right now i am pushing back my cuticles and only because i haven't worked on any cuticle work on this hand in a really long time so i'm gonna go ahead and remove the dead skin I'm going to take my cuticle bit from Melody Susie and I'm going to go around my cuticles just to push back that dead skin and remove it even further. Then I'm going to go in with my sanding band, so 180 sanding band, and I'm going to go over my natural nail just to remove the shine. I'm not doing too much here. Once I'm done, I am going to take some cuticle oil because I am creating a peel off base coat and I'm going to rub that into my nails. And once I'm done, I am going to apply some top coat and I'm going to cure it in the lamp for 30 seconds. Next, I'm going to adhere my nail tips with some base coat and I'm also going to cure that in the lamp after I finish sticking them on. So I did slightly shape my nails off camera and trim them and I am going to go in with my sanding band just to blend the tip with the natural nail. So for the ombre end, I am going to take some base coat and some glitter and I'm going to actually mix that together to kind of give me that glitter finish that the inspiration picture had. I'm going to mix that around until I'm satisfied with the mixture. Then I'm going to apply some base coat on all of my nails and I am going to cure it in the lamp for 30 seconds. Thank you. 
after that i am going to take that glitter mixture and apply that on the tip of my nail honestly i think if you had done this before applying base gel on the entire nail that would have worked too i'm not really sure why i did it this way And to get started with application, I am going to be using the Model 1's Slip Solution. And as I always say, this is optional. You can use alcohol. I just really like this a lot. And here is the poly gel that I'm going to be using for the nude part of the ombre. I'm going to place a bead at the cuticle and I'm going to start blending downwards. All right, so I'm going to very briefly, like very briefly talk about Taurus season, the end of Taurus season and what Tauruses can expect. Since recently Mercury retrograde just ended and that was also in Taurus, I feel like mainstream astrology and pop culture overhype Mercury retrograde and some people treat it like a doomsday, but really you just have to avoid doing certain things like getting back with an ex, signing contracts, buying new technology, and getting cosmetic surgery. It's really just things like that you need to avoid during those types of transits. If you do end up doing those things, it's not really the end of the world. You will just have to revisit those decisions that you have made. And I don't know about anybody else, but I've been having the worst technical difficulties during this retrograde, especially audio issues for my video have been terrible and I'm just so glad it's over. And every retrograde I have trouble with my packages like it never fails. Mercury retrogrades are really just a time for reflection and depending on where it occurred in your chart is the area of life where you'll feel the effects of Mercury retrograde. Mercury retrograde definitely affects everyone on a collective level. So an important transit that just passed by was Jupiter moving into Taurus and Jupiter is the planet of expansion, blessings, opportunity, and love. So what does this mean for Taurus suns? Basically you guys are going to be in a lot of luck. I feel like since Jupiter is going to be touching your sun, you may see more opportunities popping up in your life you might see yourself being more prosperous since 2018 a lot of you guys may have been going through a lot of disruptions or just uh, abrupt changes in your life and jupiter moving into taurus will kind of i don't want to say smooth things out but it'll kind of make things a lot more easier for you on that aspect and if you are like into any sort of content creation or you're in anything in the arts field or you're trying to get yourself out there i do see you gaining more recognition in that aspect as well since jupiter is going to be blessing you with being noticed and getting that fame so try to be more optimistic around this time because Ju jupiter is going to be in taurus until 2024 so it will be amplifying your luck in money love and career especially for cancer risings like you guys had aries and jupiter and that was also aspecting your 10th house or your midhaven giving you another push again and jupiter and taurus is also going to do that for you as well so honestly a lot of cancer and leo rises are having a really good time right now and Taurus suns as well. So basically for everyone, I just want you to embrace luxury. Just try to get your money up and think of sustainability and longevity. Embrace the arts and just be open to giving and receiving. This is Venus energy. It's about receiving. It's about being relaxed. It's about self-care. So I want everyone to implement that until next year, especially Taurus, but everyone can also implement these things as well. So I am going to end it on that note. Taurus, you will find that I don't want to say life will be easier, but the abrupt changes and unexpected things happening will end sometime around 2026. Okay, so I'm done talking about astrology and I'm going to just let you guys watch the rest of this application and I will be back for the next step.
here's how the application looks it looks so neat and so nice i really love the glitter ombre i honestly wanted to leave it like this so i am going to go ahead and wipe off the sticky layer from the poly gel just so we can begin filing So once I was done filing, I am going to apply some top coat on all of the nails and I am going to cure it in the lamp for 60 seconds. I'm also painting the underside because even though there is a bit of glitter, it does kind of have a glass effect. Next, I am going to apply some rhinestone gel and I'm, again, I'm following the inspiration picture. I'm drawing a bit of a curve here. I'm not going to cure this just yet. I'm going to apply the rhinestones and then cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds.
so here are how the nails turned out let me know what you guys think in the comments i know it's not your your typical astrology taurus look but i kind of like these i have everything i used linked in the description box please don't forget to like and subscribe and i hope taurus all enjoyed their season and thank you so much for watching